Living under COVID, we've all realised that buying for buying sake just isn't sustainable. And now we see the rise, the rise, rise of secondhand shopping, reworked, refashioned brands making their mark. In this video, I introduce you to one such brand who actually makes dresses from bedding. You don't want to miss this one. Hi, I'm Michelle, the face behind Pierre Carr and Style by Pierre Carr. And this is a place where you get tips to create your own personal style. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe in the button below, but all the details are in the description box. Today, you find me in the height of summer. And when it comes to summer, it's all about dresses and colors and prints and all the rest of it that I have been showing to you. But today I want to give you food for thought. If COVID has taught us anything, fast fashion has a place, but we know that those items are not going to last forever. You're not going to wear them 10 years from now, probably not even a couple of years from now, but they're good to fill your wardrobe and to get you to that party or a place to go. So there's been a void. But what's been happening in this void are there brands who do believe in sustainability. They do believe in having unique pieces that last a lifetime. And more importantly, they don't want to increase landfill. And today I have the pleasure of introducing you one such brand called Saluto, who upscales and make dresses from bedding and textiles. And it's a very unique um, strategy and idea but I think it's one worth exploring because as you know I'm going on this secondhand journey this is only my second video and I want to take you with me on it so that you are informed about what is out there so let's meet Hannah and let her tell you all about the brand My name's Hannah and I am the founder of Saluto London. I started it in 2019 and we sell a mix of vintage pieces and things reworked from vintage fabrics. So our dress collection has just launched, it launched last week and we rework things from vintage fabrics. So they're made from vintage sheets, curtains, bedding, textiles. So this is an example of a piece that we would make. Um, and we've got a 15 piece collection that has just launched last week with a few more things coming in the next month um, we sell a real mix of vintage so there are these lovely ukrainian folk shirts um, which are most of them are antiques they're over 100 years old hand embroidered um, really lovely to wear in the winter and in the summer too and then i've got the rest of the vintage here which is ranging from the 20s to the 80s this is one of our dresses, which is made from an old pair of curtains. It's got the lovely ruffled sleeves um, and it's a full length piece. Um, it's very heavy, but great for the evening. So that's one of our reworked pieces. Lovely one, which is the made in a kind of autumnal floral. It's made from an old duvet cover. Um, again, full length really pretty floaty great for the hot weather and um, which we will hopefully have very soon so before i go into more on the dresses um, that hannah has i thought it would be really good for hannah to explain the process that she goes through when she makes her dresses and give you like really good food for thought if you've got items at home that you don't know what to do with besides going to the charity shop, this is a really good way that you could start making a sustainable train for yourself with items that you already own. But let's hear what Hannah says. So when we um, come to the design process, um, we will take a kind of selection of fabrics. So for example, here, we've got a pile of vintage tablecloths, um, scraps of embroidery. Um, some of them are damaged. So we work how, you know, we work out how we can use the most of the piece without 
um, kind of throwing away as much as possible. Um, and with that, we then end up with something like this, which is a piece in the making, um, which is a kind of tie back top. And as you can see, we've you know used two different sets of tablecloths um, and then used vintage lace at the back, and that will end up being a top. Um, it's my favourite part of the job um, because it's real problem solving, it's creative, um, but yes, we often get given big bags of old textiles and we work out how we can make the most and the most beautiful things out of what otherwise would have just gone to landfill. Most people's favourite is this gorgeous midi length. Um, it's made in a beautiful blue floral fabric, classic 1970s. Um, it's just got lots of volume and yeah, so this one is another one of our collection. And so as you can appreciate, there's so many vintage companies around at the moment. Just tell everyone why you are unique. I think for, for Saluto, it's all about the experience. So it's coming into our studio, which is where we are now. It's trying the pieces on. You can come with your friends. You can have a drink while you're shopping. Um, and I think it's also a, you know, I love colour and vibrancy and uniqueness. Um, and it's all about working with someone, you know, whether they've shopped for vintage for years or they haven't shopped vintage at all. Um, so it's all about the experience, I would say, here at Saluto. So what did you think? Really different way of looking at clothes and making clothes and reworking clothes. It's definitely an option for somebody who is really into that. And I just wanted to let you guys know, because as a stylist, my job is to not only tell my clients on about these amazing brands, but show off items to them that suit their style, suit their personality. And there's a whole range of different brands out there. We really are not stuck to the high street people. And the more you stick with me, the more you will find out all about this. If you like this video and you want to know more, first of all, subscribe. Second of all, share, 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 and let people know that I'm here. I would love to be able to show more of this and more of my outfit ideas, how I do with my clients, so that you are going on a journey with me. Until next time, take care.